Okay guys, tonight I have for you the Mistletoe Biff Bomb from Lush. This is available around this Christmas. It's not going to be there forever. It's not my favorite one. Okay, let's see. I've never demoed this one before, but I cannot take the smell too much. It's the same scent as the Silky Underwear Dusting Powder, which kind of reminds me of like a suntan lotion slash baby powder scent. It's not my favorite. I mean, I can withstand it, but due to it not being my favorite, I kind of grabbed my comforter shower jelly and put it in the strainer and made myself a little bit of bubbles and got a little bit of nice scent to my water. And I'm going to mix him in so I can show you guys what he does. Uh, hopefully this all works out right. So here we go. Here's our mistletoe bath bomb from Lush. Um, actually, right now on Lush, they have all the items that you could normally only get on Oxford Street available to us. Um, I do think this one's a pretty show. I just don't like the scent. It's a really pretty show. It's beautiful, actually. Um, all the items that you can get on uh, Lush Oxford Street that we can't normally get, the Lush UK has them on their site for sale. Now, here's the kicker. Apparently, what I've learned is that those items are going to be available in Lush USA. So Northern Lush is going to stock those items and we'll be able to get them. So if you want to get them early, a preview of them, you can go ahead and order now. Just go to Lush, Lush.com, or you can click the link down below and it'll take you to Lush UK. Come here, buddy, where you going? Let me, let me pop you back up here. So here is our pretty little bomb, the mistletoe. I think this one's really beautiful. I just can't really stomach the scent of it. It's not horrific. Don't get me wrong. It's not like really bad. But it's just not my deal. I don't like that kind of like suntanny lotiony smell mixed with like baby powder. It's not my deal. Not something I really enjoy. But it is beautiful. Definitely photo worthy. Do I think it would have put on this cool of a show in a big giant open bath with nothing encasing it in? No. I think it kind of would have just mixed in and not been that beautiful. I do like the way it looks though like this. I think this is very beautiful. Yeah, you got a shot of my leg in here, but I'm sitting Indian style to try and give you a better view. <laughs> it's not really working out too well because my legs are cramping up. But I definitely think this one, wow, if they would have made this a different scent, oh, I would have been so happy. We just have this tiny little bit left. Smushy, smushy. And there you have it. Our watercolor has stayed the same. It's just pink. It's got some of the, like, shimmies in there. Nothing really to speak of. Not like, like say, like Twilight or, you know, things like that. But, uh, uh, let me give you, like, kind of like a lowdown of what I know is there right now. Twilight shower gel is available in the Lush UK site. There you go, you got some sparkles going on now. Twilight Shower Gel is available. It's available in a bunch of different sizes. Um, it is not available in the massive size. Yes, Corinne has already tried. Um, I don't think I will be partaking in ordering any Twilight because I still have a bunch of it. I'm low on it though. But apparently, apparently, don't quote me. Do not quote me. I could be wrong. But from what I've learned, uh, let's just state it that these items, let me straighten my leg out. Oh, son of a bitch. These items are gonna be available in the Northern Lush site. So we'll be able to get them, but this is a preview of what's going to be available. Lotus Bath Bomb is there, uh, Golden Slumbers is there, Cyanide Pill is there, Twilight Shower Gel is there, Ponche Shower Gel is there. I don't believe that we're gonna get Twilight and Ponche. I, I don't know, you never know. If you don't know what Twilight is, it's a very lavendery smell. Lavender, tonka, vanilla. It's absolutely beautiful. It is like my whole hardened baby. I love it. Uh, I don't have any right here. I don't have any here right now. I actually just ran out of my bottle. And I have to go grab another one. I go nuts when Twilight enters the kitchen. If they do put it in the Northern Lush store, I won't have to go nuts anymore. I can buy it at my leisure. Uh, shit, why can't I remember everything that was there? The Lotus, the Lotus one is one I want to get, though. Um, I did want to get the jilt, Jilted Elf this week from the kitchen, but 
with this whole thing with Jamie going on in the whole nine, Lush isn't really my main concern right now. It's kind of like, meh, going on the back burner because my main concern right now is just making sure that, you know, the town and, ch and her get everything that they need and that's what I'm basically focused on. So, Lush is the back burner right now. Plus, I am enjoying the shit out of my indie companies. Uh, they have so many cool Christmas items that I have just fallen utterly in love with. Don't get me wrong, if I have the money, I am going to purchase, but Lush is not like, God, I gotta get it, I gotta get it, I gotta get it, because apparently we're gonna be getting it in the U.S. So, maybe I don't have to go nuts. Maybe I can save some money. And I've noticed a lot of these items are not unstocked, like, not, and nothing says out of stock. It all says available. So, maybe it'll only be up for today, maybe it'll be up for a couple of days, I don't know. I know it came up yesterday, and uh, yesterday around noonish, it was up. Noon UK time. It was up and everybody was real shocked to see it. But if we're gonna get it in the Northern Lush, you know, 90% of us that buy from the UK kitchen or UK site and we're from Northern Lush area, why not wait? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we're not gonna get all of it in Northern Lush. Maybe we're just gonna get some of it. They have a lot of the bath oils, um, you know, the solid bath oils. They got uh, Cloak of Visibility, uh, Ginger, which is one of my favorite. Oh my god. Um, they got a whole mess of them. Uh, one of you guys had requested that I show you what I keep in the shower of what I constantly use. So you want to go through that? Let's go through that. Um, I am smoking a cigarette. Don't get me wrong. So let me tap my cigarette out and we'll go ahead and go through it. What Corinna Grell keeps around her at all times. Okay, at all times, starting to my left, we have the end of my ghost shower gel. I really did enjoy the ghost shower gel. It was very nice. It had a nice lily scent to it. It is the same scent as Lily Savant soap. Um, I like it. I really do. And it's the same smell as Moon Bath Balm, Moon on a Stick Bath Balm. So I really did like it. It is one of my go-tos. I love it. It's very liquidy, but... Yeah, that's why I ran out of it so fast. There's only a very little bit left. See it? I have my bubbly shower gel, which is really, really good. It is like a citrusy scent, and I've had it for a while, and that's how much I've used. And it's very thick. You only need a little bit, and it goes a really freaking long way. I have an upside-down bottle of water misrule. No particular reason, just because I'm running out, so I turn it upside down when I start to run out, so I can use the last of it. I like to use my shower gels kind of like... I use them in the morning in the shower... But then I like to use them in like bubble baths and I mix them and make little cocktails and things like that out of them. It's cool. It works. Uh, I keep Slammer. Slammer is a very strong citrusy and grapefruity type scent. It really wakes your ass up. Um, I've had Slammer for a little while. Slammer is almost completely done uh, as per time. So he has to be used up or his time will run out. I have an empty bottle of snow cake because I just used it like a couple hours ago. <laughs> I have a little bit left of my dirty spring wash. I love the smell of dirty. So I keep dirty around me. I love the smell of it. It is a spearminty scent. It's so fucking good, guys. I really love it. I have narcotic. Uh, narcotic shower gel was made for people that have uh, skin type things. They want to cleanse their skin. It It's supposed to be kind of like a medicated type wash for acne prone skin or anything like that. So I keep narcotic around, one, because I love the smell, two, because it is a blue color that is to die for. Like this color is, matter of fact, screw it. This blue color is like outrageously cool. Ready? Watch the bubbles. Do you see that? That is friggin' cool. It's really liquidy though, so you can go through a lot of it really fast, but it is a royal blue color. Um, it was either Mark Constantine, Constantine or one of his brothers or something like that created it for their kids' skin problem, acne prone problems. My bottle of ginger that my dear Rose got me, uh, love her to death. She knew that I fell in love with blue bath melt and she knew it was the same scent. And when it popped up in the kitchen, I was broke. And she grabbed me a bottle and she grabbed her order and I was so ecstatic to get it and so happy. Wow, look at the bubbles now. <laughs> It does smell menthol-y and medicated, but I like that menthol-y smell. Um, not really medicated, like ointment medicated, but like medicated like menthol-y. I, I love the mint smells, the menthol, the mint. I do have in the back there the end, which I have about, a, about half of the bottle left. 
of the uh, Poison Apple Liquid Bulbeth from White Forest. I like to grab that and dump some in. It is a vibrant green, like vibrant green, and it's loaded in glitter. I also have the Creamy Pumpkin that he just sent me. Watch. See the glitters? Look at all that. Creamy Pumpkin was amazing. And I keep that around because every now and then I like boogity smell like Creamy Pumpkin. So I will do a bath of Creamy Pumpkin for him. It is amazing, man. I love the White Forest liquid uh, products. I love, I love everything these kids making. The kid's awesome, man. He can't do no wrong in my eyes. <laughs> he really can. He does he does good good work. And the owner of that company is about 15 now. To my right, I have a giant bottle of Yummy Mummy. Uh, you guys are going to laugh, but I just bought this off somebody on eBay. And she sold it to me for like 12 bucks. And, or like $11 or something like that. She has no clue what the product she had in her hands or she didn't like it. And I've used up that much already. Okay, I also have a solid shampoo bar. This is Honey, I Wash the Kids. Sorry, my finger's in the way. But this here is the Honey, I Wash the Kids solid shampoo bar. It is close to being done. I got about, eh, about 15 more washers in it, and then he's done. When he's drying, because I did just use him not too long ago, I like to place him on top, but he does get like the ring of the stuff there. But I put him on top of either that or I will put him, when he's really wet, on top of something like this. Because the rim here kind of catches the water, and he'll dry out nicely. Uh, I also have, here you go, a little bit of Angels on Bare Skin. I have the big pot of this, but I like to put it in these little pots, so I'm not digging in it while I'm in the shower or in the tub and washing my face and my body with it and getting it wet and gross. So I like to keep a little bit in here. This is like a one-time use type deal in here, and I'll use it and then go fill it again. It just a little food for thought if you don't want to like get your products wet and gooey. Okay, coming up next, I have. Let me get my finger in the damn way. I'm trying to hold the phone still. I have Mermadia's Snake Venom Bubble Bath, and this is the Rustic Woods scent. I use this as bubble bath and shower gel, depending on my mood. And I'm basically done with it. And there's a little sneak inside of it. But this was a Halloween line product, and I fell in love with it and grabbed two of them from her. I also have a little bit left of my, oh, about half a jar left of my Becky. Becky is from Whiskey Mermaid. It is a pumpkin scented body scrub. And if you want to do something really cool, Whiskey Mermaid is donating all the proceeds of the Phoenix bath powder in a jar type deal, uh, deconstructed bath bomb basically, to Jamie. It's because uh, Jamie, the owner of Bomb Diggy, lost everything. And if you want to donate other ways, you just hit the drop box down below and go ahead and read, and there are other ways for you to donate or send items and address everything. So all that information is down there. Now if I move these guys aside, we have my Nightwing Beth and Body Conditioners. Uh, I believe that one is the Nag Champa one. I have my bottle of Rose Jam that Miss Williams just sent me, and I have actually fallen in love with it. As you can tell, it is almost gone. I use this quite often. I love the Rose Jam right now. I don't know why I'm utterly in love with Rose Jam. My bottle smelled sour, didn't smell good, so I thought it was gross. My bottle was actually expired. This is a fresh bottle that Miss Williams sent me, and once I smelled the Rose Bubble Rune, I kind of really liked it and wanted to try it. And I let her know that I really wanted to try it, and she sent me a bottle. So, there you have it. Ain't that pretty? I really like it. I didn't think I was really going to like it that much. Um, let's keep going. I have Joy of Jelly, which my uh, Brooklyn buddy over there sent me. I have two of those, actually. Well, one is basically, this one, This one's really, like, down to about here. There's almost nothing left in it. I use it a lot. Behind that, I have one of the tins. And in that tin is just a couple of soaps from Lush. Not the, uh, the rubber rub scrub that used to be in there, because that's used up, obviously. Um, this was a sample of Lord of Misrule hair conditioner from Nightwing... Uh, Bath and Body Company, and I wound up using it up. I have a teeny tiny little speck in there just to give my hair some scent whenever I want it, but because I, I, I can use it as a leave-in as well. But uh, I'm pretty much going to use it up the end of it, like right now. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in my hair before I get out. Uh, moving along, moving along. I have American Cream Hair Conditioner. All of Lush's hair conditioners do nothing for my hair; they just smell okay. Uh, my favorite one is Happy Happy Joy Joy. It smells the best. It is considered hair perfume. And I absolutely love it. 
Okay, Sunflower Soapery just sent me a birthday gift, and in it she sent me the Raspberry Whip Soap, and I have been using that. I love it. It is absolutely amazing. It's creamy. It's just, man, it's thick, but yet creamy and soft. And once it hits water, it just creams out all over. I mean, I love it. It works so well. It's great for, like, shaving. It's good to scrub bugs down in. I really got a kick out of this, and it smells amazing. This raspberry scent, which, don't worry, it's not out of focus. I got it wet, and I smeared it. <laughs> But uh, this raspberry scent is really good. Like, I am in love with this raspberry scent. It looks so cool, too. But I'm not going to open it because I have one hand. I also have the Comforter Shower Jelly. I am pretty much low on the Comforter Shower Jelly. I have to go get another one inside. Uh, what I did was I just took the entire cut-up thing of it and dumped it all into my strainer and then held it underneath me full sid and made myself that bath. Uh, that's just shower jelly bubbles, by the way. Uh, I do have the jar from, let me just rest him here. I have the old jar from a Nightwing uh, Bath and Body conditioner sample. Oh no, this was a uh, whipped soap sugar scrub in Snow Fairy scent. But I keep a little piece of soap that I wash my face in from Lush. It is the cosmetic soap stuff, whatever it's called. But as the bar goes away, I go and I cut myself another chunk. I only use this stuff to wash my face though. So I keep that in there. Just a way to like reuse jars and, you know, I don't know safe for the environment. Who knows? I don't know. I just go ahead and, and reuse the jars when I have to. Then, of course, I have my number one love, Nightwing Shower Jelly. The best limey scent in the world. It is so fucking good, man. I wish they had more of it because, as you can see, I am basically gone. What I did with this is I didn't put it in the blender. I wanted to put it in the blender, but I was afraid it would turn to nothing because it's very small. And he broke apart the second I started pulling him out and trying to wash with him. So I swooshy, 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 swooshy him and stuck him back in. So he's like goo right now. Underneath him is my Santa Belly Shower Jelly, which is Snow White scented. Is that really crisp, apple-y type scent. And he's the majority of the way kind of like flat and used up. But I use him for everything. Bubble bath, washing, whatever I use him for. Um, I do have my tins to put my shampoo back in. So if you ever purchase the tins, here, I'll show you how you do it. My, my shampoo bar is dry. You take the shampoo bar, you drop it into the tin, you cap the tin, you have the tin, you place the tin. There you have it. Uh, there's a razor blade on the side of my thing. Not to slip my wrist, not at all. Never, never going to do that ever in my life when it wants to. It's to open bath bombs. So when I have bath bombs that I really have to open and I can't like just rip them apart, I use the razor blade to gently go through it so nobody gets broken and you guys get a proper demo. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Soap-wise, my soap dish is disgusting, so I'm not going to show it to you. Uh, I am about to crack open, though my uh dashing all the way so if you guys want to give me a hot second i will crack him open and show you what he looks like okay i broke the little christmas tree off so we're just gonna like throw that in the tub and let that go look how beautiful that is this is the dashing all the way soap bar from sunflower soapery she sent me this included in my birthday gift it is absolutely gorgeous look at the fucking coloring man holy crap it's so beautiful. It's so nice. I just, I didn't want to like messy it up and use it, but that's not my reindeers. But how could I not, right? Like, let me slide back a little bit and we'll go ahead, check out my reindeers and my ornaments and my cutesy little reindeer right here. That was my Christmas tree, but I broke his tip off because I'm too impatient. My gingerbread man. This coloring though is amazing. Uh, she sent me a sample of it. When I first saw it on the site, I freaked. I was like, oh my God, that's so amazing. But she sent me a sample of it. I told her how much I loved it and enjoyed it. And she snagged me one before they were all sold out. So, ready? Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Creamy, 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 creamy. Holy cow. Wow, that's really cool. So, this was definitely... Wow, Sunflower Soapery Soap. This one is awesome. The sample she sent me was a smaller one just like this. But it was a little piece of it. And you kind of don't get, like, the whole thing. You gotta buy the ball, man. You just gotta buy the ball. This is amazing. This feels so creamy. Wow, really creamy. Holy shit. Really, really. Wow, look at it. Look at it just sliding out of my hands. It is so creamy. God, I like this so much. <laughs> Alright, guys, so there you have it. That's like all the crap that I keep with me. My soap dish is kind of gross, though, otherwise I'd show you. 
There's some Mermidia soaps in there. There is, um, my friend Alicia made me a lavender bar of soap, and we are at the very end nitty gritty of it, because I wash Boogie in it all the time. Wow, I really like this, guys. This is really nice. Really, really creamy and nice. Look at the coloring. Look at the glitter in it. The glitters are moving in it. That is so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that glitter. Sunflower soapery, man. She outdoes this up. And this stuff is cheap, too. It is not expensive by any means. She does not price gouge. She's not fucking... She's not going nuts here. Look at that. Isn't that fucking beautiful? Look at the glitters moving. They're dancing. That is outrageous. Literally dancing down the soap. I love it. I think it's so festive and so beautiful. I love the little embeds up top here. So cute. Oh my god. It feels so good. It smells amazing. It smells like Christmas. It's got a cinnamony, Christmassy type of berry-ish type scent to it. It's perfect. I, I really do like this one. Okay. Um, that's it, guys. That was all of my crap that I keep around. Spooshies. I call them spooshies. I know what they're called. They're loofahs, but I call them spooshies. And all the stuff that I have over here. Um, you guys see it in videos every now and then, but... I basically try and just con you know work here instead of working like there, but I can't I can't help it. I love this bar, so I'm sitting here just playing with it. It's awesome, man. The glitters is the best part. Like really, the scent, the creaminess, and then the glitters. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to make my bath water all smell like it too. <laughs> oh man, I am such a nut when it comes down to fucking soaps and things like that. Let me let me put it down for a minute. Okay, I put it on the edge of the tub. I got some in my hand. I can just. Wow, this is freaking creamy, nice lather, nice creaminess. Oh man, that's perfect. Okay, well there you have it guys, that was a bath bomb, that was the crap in my tub, that was a little bit of narcotic going on here. Um, I just love, love the color, I love the menthol scent, really cool shit. Uh, normally there is twilight in here, but unfortunately, um, yeah, I don't have the twilight because I didn't bring it in with me. And I also, to my right, have a Mad Bomber heart. Black Bath Bomb heart. Because I like to do the Black Bath Bombs now lately to show you guys, don't be afraid of them. They don't stain if they're done by the proper vendor. Alright guys, if you have yet to subscribe, hit that button over there. Let me know you love me. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Talk amongst yourselves in the comments. Talk, talk to me. Uh, I read all the comments. Sometimes I don't even get a chance to answer back. But I do hit that little heart button to let you know that I have read it. And that I will be getting back to you. Uh, love you all, and don't forget to hit the drop box, check out all the links down below, and also, if you are feeling generous, drop a donation into our dear friend Jamie, or go ahead and donate to her town. Uh, that is the uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, for the massive wildfire disaster that just happened. Okay, I will talk to you all later. I am going to scrub up with my awesome bar of soap from Sudsy, Sudsy, you hear me? From Sunflower Soapery. I'm tired, man, it's like 4 a.m from Sunflower Soapery, and then I'm going to get out and go to bed, and it's about that time. <laughs> All right, guys, good night.